I'm in lockdown currently and I have no clients. All of my work has been canceled. I'm gonna turn myself into a glamorous, beautiful woman. Hello. I've set everything up. I am a queer, creative individual who runs a transformation service. It's essentially a place where anyone would come and have the chance to dress as a woman. And for the foreseeable future, my job has ceased to function and I'm really bored. So I'm kind of creating my own work, I guess. Today I'm gonna to show you a really gorgeous purple and pink smoky eye look. Once that's on secure, I apply tiny little bits of glue to the sides of my face here and here, and I'm gonna create a facelift. I know what you're thinking. I don't need a facelift, but every little bit helps. Right, now that my foundation's on, I look like some sort of bleached out goth. Growing up in Northern Ireland was an interesting experience to being like a young queer kid. I, I didn't have the best time at school. I really took great enjoyment um, every day I got home from school because I could go and sit in front of the mirror and do my makeup. It was something that really helped me get through. It's time to start the concealing. I'm running out of everything. It helps to push the cheekbone out and lift everything up. Right, once that's on, I just like to make sure that there's no edges. It's like concerning thing about this is that most of my concealers are on the last legs. They're all running out. Right, so we're going for pink. Really like doing this because it gives me such a sense of like disconnection from reality and I'm not worrying about what's going on in the world <laughs> and that's so important right now. I um, spent my whole childhood growing up feeling terrified to express my campness. I was always told by boys in school like not to sit this way, not to walk that way, you're such a gay boy and they would always refer to me being as really camp. And I've grown up now to absolutely love the fact that I am a big raging gay boy <laughs> and that I have camp tattooed on my hand as a reminder. Well, I'm not the only one locked up, holed up in this apartment. My dear flatmate Tom is working away behind me. <laughs> not as glamorous a job as me, unfortunately. Now this is probably one of my favorite parts of the makeup and I'm gonna blow your minds away, guys, because I'm gonna lift my face back. You can see all this like skin. <laughs> Please don't judge me because I overdraw my lips a little bit too much. It's a little bit ridiculous, but I am aware. I mean, really that's absurd, isn't it? But it makes me happy, which is all that matters. I think I'm done with my makeup. And then this is the hair that I'm wearing today. Now it hasn't been completely like brushed out yet. All glued on. But everything starts to sort of come together when you've got the hair on. Well, girls and boys, here is the finished look. I went for like a pinky purpley kind of look and I'm gonna be taking some gorgeous selfies. I feel really beautiful these days uh, when I get dressed up. It seems so silly, but being able to put a wig on my head and some makeup on gives me this whole extra confidence. I always take that power and that positive feeling that I have from when I'm dressed into my everyday life. 